With Drake's and 21 Savage collab album art cover being shot on film and many other recent classic projects being shot on film like Playboy Cardi's self-titled mixtape, Playboy Cardi, it seems like everybody's shooting film. It's mainstream now, like how many parties have you gone to where you see that one shorty with the disposable Kodak film camera out? That being said, there is one brand of film camera that reigns supreme when it comes anyway to celebrity ownership. I mean, Zendaya, Hector Bellerin, Frank Ocean, Drake, Kendall Jenner, Neymar, just to name a few rocking with this camera brand. Welcome back to the Kill Ivan Show, and you thought I was not gonna talk about film anymore anyway. And today we are talking about the greatest point and shoot film camera ever. <laughs> Before I even get into this, what is film? I feel like due to the fact of it being so mainstream, people know what the hell is going on, but some misconceptions still persist. So let me break it down. Shooting film or film photography is the utilization of a strip of transparent film base coated on one side with a gelatin emulsion containing microscopically small light sensitive silver highlight crystals. The sizes and the other characteristics of the crystals determine the sensitivity, contrast, and resolution of the film. Basically all of that to say light hits the chemicals and you get an image out of it, but not so fast now. Once you shoot with the camera, you don't magically get the images and then you can just put them on your phone. You have to bring it to a camera store for them to develop the film. So put it into more chemicals and then use a machine to scan the negatives. So that film roll you put in your camera, yeah, that's gonna be put into a lot of bunch of chemicals and you're gonna get it back and they're gonna scan that, you know, that film that you put in your cameras for you to get your images. So then you can post them on Instagram or whatever. Well, maybe not Instagram because the CEO said it's not a photography app anymore. Anyway, like I previously mentioned, so many celebrities are rocking film cameras, using them to shoot at parties or whatever they're doing with those film cameras. And the brand they're rocking with the most is Contax. Contax began as a camera model in the Zeiss Icon line in 1932 and later became a brand name. The early cameras were among the finest in the world, typically featuring high quality Zeiss interchangeable lenses. The final product under the Contax name were a line of 35mm medium format and digital cameras engineered and manufactured by Jap multinational Kyocera and featuring modern Zeiss optics. Now Contax has made incredible mythical point and shoot cameras, but what is a point and shoot camera anyway? Basically, it's a mostly pocketable camera where you don't really have to input any settings. It says it in the name. You just point and shoot. And the camera is pretty much going to handle exposure, you know, the settings all for you to give you a great image. Now, of course, celebrities and anything will go for the high end stuff. That's why you see a lot of them rocking the Contax T2 or the Contax C3. Now, before I explain the incredible nature of this camera, I know some people are gonna already be in the comments like, these cameras are overhyped, they're overpriced, they're not worth the money. Listen, if you're an amateur, I agree. If you're an amateur, I agree. There's no point in getting these cameras. If you're just doing it for fun, it's nothing serious, don't buy them. Waste of money. Like you won't really see that much of a difference if you're taking pictures of your friends or your, or your road trip. And I mean, if you're rich and you can afford it, why not? Just buy it. If you're rich and you can afford it, just buy it. Like no one's forced you to buy it, but if you want to buy it. Regardless, if you're professional, honestly, there's a lot of good uses for these cameras. And I would mostly say for the Contax C3, there's more reasons why to buy it than the Contax C2. And I'll explain why a little later. But if I could say it's just the Contax C3 has a level of precision and features to really get the most out of your photography. Briefly, the Contax C2 is a autofocus 35 millimeter compact camera released in 1991 by Kyocera under the Contax brand. It was the second of the T-series of high-end compact film cameras targeted at the professional and luxury consumer markets. I've owned it. It's a great camera, but there's a lot of cheaper alternatives that have pretty much the same features as this camera, when speaking of the Contax C2, of course. So to an extent, I can agree that the Contax T2 is kind of overpriced, but the build on that camera, oh my goodness, is incredible. Like it is some fine piece of aesthetic and engineering. Now, the only camera that I don't agree is overpriced or overhyped is the Contax C3. And let me tell you why. 
And when I'm talking about the Cossack C3, is the one that Frank Ocean has in his hands that he used to take pictures at the Met Gala that were on Vogue. Now, the Cossack C3 was released in 2001 as the follow-up for the still popular T2. The T3 kept the Sonar 2.8 lens, now a 35mm, because the Contact C2 had actually a 38mm lens, but cut the size by about a third. This camera is super small, super pocketable. So what makes this camera truly special besides the incredible form factor and the beautiful aesthetic? It's a beautiful camera, but what else do you have? What else makes it this incredible? Because it can be beautiful, who cares? I just want good images. And I agree. By the way, I just want to say the black one because I have a champagne on the black one. Oh my goodness, that camera is beautiful. But I, I, I want to talk about the specs, the specs of the camera. A f2.8 lens, basically the camera is incredible in low light conditions. Even though there are some Fuji cameras that do fare even better in low light conditions, I think the T3 still has more specs that are more interesting than those cameras. You could also manually choose the aperture from 2.8 to f16. The minimum focus and distance is 0.35 meters. You could take macro pics, meaning you could take pictures super close. You can also manually focus, but I don't know why you would ever do that with a point and shoot. Like, what's the point? and shoot <laughs> but whatever you have that option so there's probably some situations you can i never had to but hey do it your own now the shutter speed incredible 16 seconds to 1 12 thousandths of a second one of the fastest point and shoot cameras like most point and shoot cameras top out at around 1 five hundredths of a second so if you're shooting sports with this you probably won't even get a blurry image and another thing is that you can over and underexpose with this camera so if you want to get that nice punchy grain that nice grain film grain you underexpose it and if you want to have you know those nice pastel colors overexpose it but i think the most impressive things with this camera and i've said it before is oh my goodness the fact that you have filters on it now listen there is another point shoot camera where you can put filters on it but it's a little bigger it's a little clunky it's by nikon i don't think it's as nice as a camera what's special again with the contact c3 is the form factor also you have all these functions with a small form factor like guys look at my images I use a star filter all the time with it. It's just so dope having that flexibility. So like I said, just the mix of the form factor, the fact you can put filters, underexposed, the shutter speed, all of that, the macro imaging makes it one of the, in my opinion, the greatest point shoot film camera ever. I think it's worth every penny because you do not find all of these functions in one camera on the market. Anyway, I wanted to make a video about film photographers because one of my subscribers, of course, in the comments said, could you just make maybe like more? And if you want anything, just let me know in the comments. I will make the video about it. Trust, I got y'all. But anyway, comment if you own a Contax, comment what film camera you own. And guys, like, share the video, hit the link in my description for all my socials um, to check my photography's new nostalgia film. And guys, as usual, Thank you so much for watching and keep it supreme.